God bless you in this wonderful day. Here is Daniela Ojaga bringing you a word from the Lord. Make sure to take this word into prayer to receive further confirmation that this is what God is speaking to you about this season in your life. God is telling someone today, it is you, okay? You are the person that God has chosen to bring much breakthrough in the life of other people. Do not try to run away from your purpose. Do not try to run away from your call. Do not try to hand the baton to somebody else and say, you take care of this because it is you, okay? This prophetic word has been given to me through a vision. In this vision, I saw how there was a woman praying and she was interceding really loud two other women prayed as well they tried to interrupt her prayer but the first woman that was praying she almost like took the microphone back and started to pray louder and at this the manifestation of the glory of god started to be revealed i saw how people were shaking and dancing in the spirit how people were falling to the ground just an amazing move whenever this individual would pray. And the Holy Spirit reminded me of the story of Esther. Amen. The Bible says that when Esther was in the palace, Haman rose up to try to kill all of the Jews. Mordecai told Esther, Esther, go ahead and go before the king and plead for your people. At first, Esther said no out of fear. She said, they haven't called me. If you go before the king without being called, you could potentially die. But Mordecai being wise and trying to push her to the purpose told her in Esther 4 verse 14 for if you remain silent at a time like this relief and deliverance will rise from the Jews from another place but you and your father's house will perish and this is what I want you to focus on it says and who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this there are a lot of people that are going to come across this video, that God has opened doors of opportunity for you. God has placed you in places of authority. You are a person of influence. God is saying, don't forget that I placed you there so that you could be the answer to the prayer for my people. Amen. God is saying, I led you to the kingdom. I led you to the palace. I opened doors for you. I increased your power and your influence. Not for you to go blind and try to think that this is a result of the work of your hands, but because of the favor of God that is over your life. Many of the people that are going to come across this video need to understand that you find yourself in the position that you're in like Esther because deliverance God is going to use you excuse me to deliver other people to bring good news to other people to be the answer to the prayers of many people there are people that are waiting for the word that's going to be released from your mouth there are people that are waiting to see you be in your breakthrough there are people that are depending on you standing in your purpose so again the Lord is telling you today it is you okay it is you don't think of yourself as any less as well that's something that the holy spirit was ministering in my heart to tell his people don't think that you're not good enough in this vision i saw how this person was also allowing the other people to pray almost as if, oh, they're doing it better than me. Let them pray. They have more authority. Don't look at yourself with the eyes of the flesh like Samuel did whenever he was going to anoint King David. The Bible says that God said, I don't look at the outward appearance. I look at the heart. And for many of you, God has examined your heart. God has seen your intentions. God has seen what you say. Oh God, if you bless me, I'm going to do this and that. And God God is trusting you with those prayers and with the blessings and with the power. So the Lord is saying, don't think of you as any less because you are the person that God is almost like trusting for this purpose. Amen. You're the person that God has chosen in this season. So see yourself the way that God sees you. Start telling the Lord God, and this is something I spoke about a couple of days ago. God, open my eyes for me to see what you see in me that you thought was worthy to be called, that you thought was worthy to stand before people and be of good influence to them. So again, it is you. It doesn't matter how young you are. It doesn't matter how old you are. We also spoke about King Josiah that became king when he was eight years old. So there are many of you that maybe you're not that age, but maybe you're early in your journey. You've only been walking with God for three months, eight 
months a year god is saying don't worry about none of that because again it's not about that it's about your heart it's about your obedience to the lord and it is you now to finish this up i want to wrap this up by saying be in agreement with god okay this as you come to pass with this video be in agreement with the lord to say okay it is me that the lord is trying to use and like isaiah said you know sent me ask the lord god what am i supposed to do in this season that is going to be a blessing because many of the answers to your prayers are in you walking in your purpose it's not going to be any other way you're not going to receive things from god if you're outside of your purpose or you are not going to receive a little bit because purpose and blessing are usually connected most the majority of the time they're usually connected so make sure that you are in agreement with the lord because again it is you amen god bless you this was your friend daniela don't forget to like this video and to also subscribe to my youtube channel you can also follow me on instagram daniela ojaga facebook tiktok under the same name make sure to check out my website danielaojaga.org in the description of this video and i'll be seeing you guys next time take care